Okay, this is the second attempt at a video. Um, the last one was scattered because I was actually getting the interpretation of this dream uh, while I was giving the video, and I just think I can do it a lot clearer now. So, first of all, um, I already tried to do a video and didn't feel that the timing was right. Um, for the last couple days, I've made a couple versions of it about the Christ Church call in New Zealand. Um, on May 15th, after the terrorist attack, which is associated increasingly with white nationalist, uh, a a a.k.a. pseudonym for Christians in the consciousness of the people, this call went out uh, from New Zealand, which isn't really anything new, but the name is interesting, Christ Church Call, and it is an attempt to exert pressure on tech giants and social media platforms to... Uh, stop the spread of what they call extremist ideology. Well, ultimately, that covers what we do. And I think it's interesting that it's the Christ Church call that they are trying to silence. What is it that they ultimately want to silence? The call of Christ Church, which is a warning to flee the judgment to come and an invitation to the marriage supper of the Lamb, right? That's really what we're about here, and it's the only reason we're here. The only reason left for the church to be here is as a final warning, okay? Otherwise, the Lord would have taken us home. The only reason we have to be here is to announce his coming. And I thought about how then this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout all the earth as a witness to me, and then the end shall come. You know, we have more effect than we know. God has thousands and thousands of people on YouTube and social media platforms that have been warning for years. And everybody has had a chance, if they've been stuck on their phone looking for something to do, to stumble across. God knows how to tweak algorithms and get these messages to people that you, we don't even know. Millions and millions of people have heard the call, okay? But they want to silence that, and they don't have to legislate to do it. All they have to do is rig the algorithm so that it no longer sends out notifications and the reach of videos like this gets suppressed. I saw it happen yesterday, which timing-wise I think is interesting. I had a particularly powerful message uh, that I put out, and it reached almost no one, and I knew it was algorithm because people were saying they weren't getting not notifications. The timing is interesting because of the dream I had last night, which I'll get to in a second. Um, the other thing was a couple days ago, I found a news article about, I'm sure some of you have seen this, the meteorologist in Ohio who was attempting to warn the people about the tornadoes, the devastating tornadoes that came through there. And on social media, before he went online, he caught wind of all these people saying they were furious that the Bachelorette had been interrupted for this weather broadcast. And it just ticked him off, and he lost it. And you can Google and, and look for videos of uh, meteorologist goes off on audience watching Bachelorette, something like that. And he's like, I, have, I am here as a warning to tell you about a dangerous situation that you need to be ready for. And you guys are telling me to get off the air so they can get back to your stupid Bachelorette. I am done with you. He said, I'm done with you people. And that together with Christ Church Call is the world saying we don't want the warnings. We are tired of the warnings. Let us get back to our regularly scheduled program, our life, our entertainment, our stupidity. And we don't want to hear these warnings anymore. And so these two things happened kind of together. And I tried to do a video about it and it just didn't feel right. But now, after having this dream, I think it's all pretty significant. So last night I had a dream. And I'm going to try to describe it. Um, I'm in the audience. It's like there's an award ceremony of some kind going on. Like you're at the Glo Golden Globe or something. But the facade on the stage is of a barn. With uh, the doors are closed. And there's two windows with white frame. And it looks like an episode of the Hee, Hee Haw or something. And there's these rodeo guys that look like Woody from... Toy Story, I mean, that's how they're dressed, and they're going around doing rodeo stuff and tricks, and they're entertaining, they're just entertaining, right, and while this is all going on, I'm just sitting in the audience, and then the doors spread open, okay, 
And behind those doors, there's this gigantic sphere, a golden sphere, and it says Sophia on the face of it, okay? And now Sophia is, in Gnosticism, the uh, goddess of uh, an archon or whatever, wiz represents wisdom. It's tied to Lucifer, actually, and I don't have to, I don't have a chance to get into all that right now. Um, that's, it's, it's, it's important that you know that, though. So anyway, Sophia is a living entity, this globe, but she's also a female, and there's these other entities coming up to her, and she's doing like a knighting, like a queen would knight uh, Sir so-and-so, right? And she says to the one that comes up, the only one I heard, and I know she did this to a number of countries or kings, but this personage comes up to her, and I know it's Russia. And she says, you are a king and a god. And that is the decree that she is designating him, Russia, as a king. And I thought in my dream, is it a person or a country? It was this weird form that was kind of shaped like a country, but it was also a being. It was kind of weird. Um, so that is what's going on behind the scenes of this rodeo show. <laughs> anyway, um, as I was trying to describe this in the first attempt at this video, um, the, oh, the next thing that happens is I find myself with an old friend that I led to the Lord. He and I don't talk anymore because he goes to an emergent church where the pastor preaches, you know, every day he struggles to believe whether Jesus was born from the, raised from the dead, and he could eventually become an atheist because the atheists make compelling points, and he even articulates, I mean, it's awful. And I one time told him, you've got to get out of this church, that, you know, they don't even believe in the Bible, and he does, but he's this really loving guy who's magnanimous and gets along with everybody and doesn't like conflict and he has the ability to love people wherever they are and it's genuine he serves them so i you know but anyway he felt like i was overreaching and he got offended and we just have had tension ever since and i haven't talked to him anyway in the dream i found myself with him and i told him about what i saw and i said did you see that big sphere you know and he said he said i said it was sophia and he goes Sophia, oh, that's that robot. And I said, no, it's Lucifer. That's just the artificial uh, network, the neural net, um, that'll eventually be the artificial intelligence that will be his uh, means of interacting with the whole world through the network internet of things and everything. Um, but it, that is a vessel for S Lucifer. And I said, the Antichrist is in the church. I said that. And that at that point, I connected the facade of the rodeo with the false, Christ, false church system. And all the Christians, and it was very Western, Americana, right? So it was the Western church entertained. Um, now think about this. Love by the King just had a dream about... Uh, goats and clowns and goats giving food to goats and you know Spurgeon said there would come a day when the pulpit ministry the true pulpit ministry was replaced by clowns and there wouldn't be sheep anymore they'd be feeding goats that is the institutional church system and that's what I was looking at was this facade that was entertainment and distraction for those who don't want to hear about what's really going on right and it's mainly the lukewarm so-called Christians in the West that don't understand what's happening. Now, why is this sphere and Sophia important? Well, in the timing of this, yesterday there was an Arab summit in, ba in Saudi Arabia about what to do with Iran. Now, we're in the calm between the storms. Oh, not calm before the storm, calm between the storms, or the calm between uh, contractions. It ramps up and then it settles down. And during the settling down, there is all kinds of stuff going on behind the scenes, especially secret meetings. The Bilderberg meeting with Kushner, and then this uh, emergency summit yesterday in Saudi Arabia about what to do with Iran. Now, Iran is going to come against Israel. We know that the Gog Magog invasion. 
And there's going to be a hook in the jaw of Russia because Russia will be the guard and the arms for Iran. And so Russia will come against the mountains of Israel, right? So this is a, the first war with a big player coming in. And God's going to respond with an earthquake and all that. The Revelation 6 uh, seal and uh, the sixth seal and the earthquake that shakes the whole earth and destroys Babylon. You know, the destruction that's coming, so destruction. Well... That meeting was yesterday, and I remember that there's a picture of Trump and the Prince of Saudi Arabia and somebody else, and I think Kushner was there. There was this famous picture where they all three have their hands on this golden globe, okay? And that was actually predicted in The Simpsons, so it's significant enough that predictive programming covered this, and you can Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Look up Saudi Arabia and Trump globe uh, shining globe. So that globe looked very similar to the one in um, the in my dream. Now the other thing is Sophia, the artificial intelligence slash puppet robot, is the first AI uh, robot to be granted citizenship. And where was she granted citizenship? Sophia was granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia. So somehow Saudi Arabia is very important. And right now there are meetings behind the scenes. And you know these guys are all playing out. They're actors on the world stage. All the world is a stage and they are merely players. And they are acting out. They're all part of the same brotherhoods and same families and same all that stuff. But there isn't a shadow of government, Illuminati, global beast system that will eventually be represented by ten kings which will give their power to the beast. And I believe in the dream, Sophia was giving authority to Russia to say, you can move now. You're a king. You have the authority to do your part of this thing. And what is that? To come down against the mountains of Israel for a spoil. That's what I think was happening in the dream. Now, that globe in the picture with Trump and Saudi and the prince of Saudi Arabia, somehow that represents the beginning of the seven-year peace plan that they're all talking about, the Kushner peace plan, the economic peace, because they have a vision of a world economic order centered, I think, in Saudi Arabia, maybe. Saudi Arabia is going to have a big part of it. That has to do with the first plan of Kush, Kush, first phase of Kushner's plan, the peace and prosperity. Uh, which will supposedly reshape the Middle East and shape, reshape the economy and cut out Russia, cut out Iran and um, circumvent Syria and all them and China and set up their own uh, economic order with the United States, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, a couple of these other countries. And that's what all this stuff with Saudi Arabia is about. And the, that's why the first phase of the peace plan, the peace and prosperity portion will be in Bahrain. That's where it'll be rolled out. So Saudi Arabia is becoming the center of something. And this dream was timed yesterday, the same day that my video was suppressed by algorithms or whatever, which reminded me of the Christ Church call. They want to silence the voice of Christ Church. Which is the prophetic warning, the last trumpet of warning of the upcoming judgment. They want to silence that. And the big tech companies, all of this is centered, the whole, it's so big, the whole tech move is related to artificial intelligence algorithms that are personified and embodied in this persona of Sophia who is a city, citizen in Saudi Arabia where that meeting took place where they had their hands on that globe, which is, I think, the same globe that was in my dream, where she was giving authority to Russia and others, but she said, well, you are a king and a god, you know. And meanwhile, in the West, what we're watching is a rodeo. Turn off these warnings. Let's get back to our show. Let's get back to The Bachelorette. <laughs> And it's all about to go down. And there's, you know, th that's the dream. So I think that's as good as I can interpret it. But uh, I wanted to let you guys know, and now I'll upload this. Real quick, 
quick I want to append the last video. Um, you know, the point of this is that God is trying to give a heads up that big things are about to go down that were prophesied in the scripture and we're now seeing the events start to unfold and all the preparations being made and God is warning his church by pouring out his spirit and giving dreams and visions to give them the true insight into what's really going on and what time it is. Now the purpose of that is to sound out a warning and the warning is that the Lord is coming, his judgment is coming, and he has prophesied throughout the scriptures that the wrath is coming and you must escape the wrath which is to come. The only escape is to be in Christ himself, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins and purchased you with blood. He gave his blood as an offering for your sins and my sins and rose from the dead to justify you and presented his blood in heaven as a payment so that there can no longer ever be an accusation against those who by faith receive his gift. His gift is eternal life and salvation from the wrath which is to come. And the wrath is coming because they have rejected him. And he is the king and he is the heir and he is the only righteous one who can rule this world in a way that will bring peace forever because he dealt with sin. You cannot have a political solution to a spiritual problem and the world is about to experience the devastating results of living apart from God and being ruled by their sin nature and calling that which is evil good right and trying to crown wickedness and make it the authority here on this earth and there are plots of the very powerful who want the resources of the earth for themselves and do not want to share it with the rest of the population and so their answer is to extinguish that part of the population that they feel is unworthy to inherit with them what they think is rightfully theirs and it's not it's rightfully christ's and he's going to give it to the meek and he's going to give this his kingdom to a people who accepted that they are sinners and need his redemption and all you have to do to partake of that is to turn to him in your heart and believe that he rose from the dead that he died for your sins and say jesus remember me when you come into your kingdom and he says Everyone who calls upon him will be saved and none who believe in him will be disappointed. So I just wanted to tag the end of this video with the reason for this. And if you have not called on the name of the Lord, you need to do so before it's too late. Because once that hammer falls, things are going to be very different on this earth. All right, take care.